Crossroads Sober Living Home is opening a new facility to help those suffering from drug and alcohol abuse. The center will be used for fellowship, worship, and a transition into a sober living style. Our Desmond Matthew joins us in the studio now with more of those details. Battling addiction can be a challenging journey, especially trying to do it on your own. Some help from the outside looking in, but others lend a helping hand because they've been there before. What was once a dark road now has light at the end of the tunnel. That's the mission President Dusty Snyder of Crossroads Sober Living Home is aiming towards. Our end goal here is not to stop at a, just a transition house. We want to have a full uh, Christian rehab in Columbus, Mississippi. We can help addict from day one to the rest of his life. Snyder says he and team members have overcome their battles. Now he's getting other men on the right path. I am in recovery also, um, and I know that finding people that can support and encourage me, I can share my life with, was absolutely monumental in my recovery. I'm a recovering addict myself, and I went through a place similar to this when I first came to Columbus. Uh, I'm a recovering addict as well. It's not something that I read about. It's not something I've experienced it. I know exactly what's going on, and I think that's the best fit for me. Snyder says his team wouldn't have reached this level of supporting others without guidance. This has always been the heart of mine uh, to reach out and minister uh, to try to help people who uh, are drug and alcohol uh, struggling. When God impresses something in your heart, it don't leave. These halls and rooms may be empty now, but Lowe's, Rock Bottom, and other companies are helping furnish the place. Yet, coordinators feel there are bigger blessings aside from material. There's something so powerful about people that know exactly what they've been set free from. More important to me are the things that I lost, the anger, the bitterness, the resentments, you know, hatred, those kind of things. That's, that's the biggest blessing <laughs> of this program. Snyder and the Crossroad team plans to have the house completely furnished and remodeled by next week. And encourage, if you know anyone battling addiction, to not hesitate contacting them or stopping by. Stephanie.